Yo, welcome back to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. Our next conversation is about e-hailing cab drivers who are protesting today against the ride-hailing companies. They point to increases in the price of fuel, increases in the price of vehicles, spare parts, and food as their reasons. They're demanding an increase in fares being charged by the operators. Some of them are even threatening to go on strike if their demands are not met. And joining us this morning to discuss this is a representative of Moving Train Pilot Association, Damilari Balugu. Good morning, Mr. Balugu. Yes, good morning to you, please. Uh, okay, I, I want to hear uh, from the I want to hear from the horse's mouth regarding your agitations concerning, you know, the cost of fares for you know Uber boat and other e hailing services. What really is your concern? Well, uh, the concerns are high. Uh, first, um, we all know that um, there's inflation in the country. And due to that, um, what has happened over the years is um, even when the cost of spare parts, fuel, were actually uh, uh, low and they are not as high as what it used to be right now, uh, Uber and Boot were charging less. The first were higher. And their condition was actually lower. So I remember when fuel, are you there? When fuel was um, 65 naira, Uber was charging 20% and both was charging 15%. But at the time they increased their uh, commissions, they lowered the, that's, they reduced the fares, which actually turned down, came down or choked down on the back of the drivers. Meanwhile, the minimum of the car we used on this platform is actually 1.5. And as I bet the car of 1.5, 1.6 million is now 2.3, 2.4 million right now. So that means if you want to get a big daddy or a Toyota Corolla 03, instead of 1.7 and 1.5, the difference is now about 700,000. And meanwhile, the cost of a uh, spare part has actually skyrocketed too. And meanwhile, the, we should be talking about fuel. We all know what fuel price is now. PMS is actually on the high side. I mean, well, these people are actually not doing anything. Instead, they, they keep reducing the fares, which is a very oh, uh, um, over the years we have tried to reach me, out. Like, let me understand. Days, we um, reach out through uh, Twitter, uh, through our Twitter handles. Mr. So Mr. Damilari, hold on. Let me, can you, you hold on, please? Uber and Boot are actually auto responses. Damilari, can you think? hold on? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to understand when you say they keep yes. reducing the fares. What exactly does that mean? You mentioned twenty percent earlier. What currently is uh, Uber and you know yeah. about, uh, demanding of their drivers? Okay, good. Uh, Uber takes twenty five percent, and Boot takes twenty percent now. So you make twenty percent of your of every um, ride that you, you you make. Every trip, yes. Every, trip, every uh, ride, yes, yes, exactly. Okay, so so explain yes, to us why. Ride. Explain to us why this is too much. It is, it is too much, sir. You have to know. It is too much. Uh, the, the reason why it is too much is this, eh? Imagine uh, you taking a trip off. Okay, let me, let me put it down. Sorry, let me break it down this way. You take a trip from uh, Yanopaja to Ikeja right now. It's not going to cost more than 1003 From that 1003 you need to deduct your data. That's money for subscription. Your data... We charge card because no longer wait to, uh, to get called. You'll be the one to call them. In fact, when you call, they even tell you, ah, why are you just calling me now? You as a businessman, you just need to do what you need to kind of say, oh, madam, sorry, this is where exactly is your location. You remove data, you remove the charge card, you remove a uh, fuel. Then at the end of the day, from that same 1,300 Uber or boat will deduct 20 or 25 percent. Now, what is left? Don't forget, there's still any cost of the car. Wear and tear is telling on the car. So all this put together, at the end of the day, when you make twenty thousand and you remove twenty percent or twenty five percent from the twenty thousand, you deduct data feeding, blah blah blah. At the end of the day, what you will have left will be nothing. It will just it will only look like. No, do not forget, sir. Most of these drivers, let me say, ninety five percent of drivers are not car owners. Yes, yeah. these cars are actually a rent, a renter, or hire purchase. So these are the, these are the problems. So okay. by the time you come up with the money for your uh, uh, for the partner, that's the investor, 
at the end of the day, what will be left with you might not be more than six thousand, seven thousand. And you'll be and, wondering, and that is for, for a week or a month. I, or the, or yeah, a day. for a week. No, for a week. For a week. So what most of the people, uh, what most of us are actually doing is they don't just want to stay idle. They have no, no choice. Because one thing, and one of the things we are clamoring on, on Twitter, however, because uh, we used to have um, a meeting with the state government, with the honorable commissioner, uh, this started with the then uh, uh, government, go, uh, the past governor, uh, Governor Akiru Miyambadi. We used to have uh, uh, meetings with his permanent secretaries and the commissioner, the then uh, large allowance until the present administration. We have not had the opportunity to meet with the commissioner, but we have sat twice with the permanent secretary. But due to COVID 19, we have not had the opportunity to go back to the ministry and sit again. They know what we are feeling, they know our plight, where the shoe is actually pinning us. They know we have, we have told them all these things. Only the government can actually help us because okay. the government intervention can only do one thing help us to regulate. If the government can regulate, we are good. Okay, I, I wanted to draw your attention to, to, to a concern because most Nigerians would okay. actually, I said most Nigerians would actually argue that in fact, e-hailing you know, cabs are even overpriced. Most people will argue and say, wow. when you take a bus from Ianokbaja to Ikeja, like you mentioned, you get, you, you get charged about 100 okay. naira, a maximum of 200 naira. But when you're taking boats, you're paying okay. so much, uh, you know, up to at least 1,003, like you've said. So lots of people would even argue that yes. this is even too expensive. So why would you be clamoring for this to be increased, especially during times okay. of surge, when that 1,003 can become as much as 4,000 naira? I mean, really, what would you respond to, respond to that? Okay, uh, let, me, let me start from here. Healing is a luxurious service. It is not the normal yellow taxis. Yellow taxis, there are so many factors surrounding them. Healing is the, uh, 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 is the new era. All over the world, globally, hmm? is a technology, uh, a technology company. The whole world is actually moving around technology, and that is what healing is all about. It's a luxurious ride. It is not meant for everybody. Let me put it that way. Yes. If you cannot afford it, you look for an alternative. Yes. And meanwhile, do not forget that there's something called share. You can actually share rights. And Nigerians are actually comfortable. I have had uh, 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 cases whereby at the end of every uh, of a trip, a rider, that's a passenger, a class will tell you, since we've been in this traffic for two hours and it's just 1,004. You'll be like, uh, that's it, with a smile. And, the, and that very same class will give you 4,000. And the person might even end up giving you 3,000. Because the person knows that this is not fair. So now, if passengers are actually complaining that, yes, I can get you at a uh, to Ikeja for 200, and on the app, I can do that for one three. There is a huge difference. The, it comes with comfort. Right. It comes with you uh, uh, sitting comfortably at the back of the seat, take, uh, receiving AC, air conditioner, and you are certain that you can actually relax. And uh, I don't know how to put it, but it is just a comfortable ride. Oh, it is your, a luxurious ride. So work. that was why I said <laughs> in the beginning, so it's not meant for everybody. <laughs> Damilare, I want you to you know, be clear on what you want. Are you wanting an increment in the fares or you want a reduction in the percentage that Uber or Bolt is taking? Or reduction in fuel prices as well. well okay. Well. All right, all right. Uh, uh, let, me, uh, let me start from here. Most of the things we are agitating for is what they call uh, um, uh, uh, sorry, um, increase in fares. That first, but we understand Nigeria's economy. Increasing fares is going to actually affect everybody because we know it's not easy. So if they can reduce their commission down to 15% or 12%, it's going to go a long way. So it means more money, uh, drivers can actually save more money. Then uh, we should have what they call a flat rate. For example, sometimes when you take a trip, when you end that trip, you are going to see 215 naira. You will be sad. That is why most times when you pick a ride with a driver, when you take a ride with a uh, with a driver, you find them not smiling. You will always be wearing this funny face. You will be wondering, why is this man angry? No, that man had, had just finished a ride of two hundred and fifty in traffic for like forty-five minutes. So if you can have a base fare, it means that the minimum fare any rider, even if you are going from here to uh, from Ikeja under bridge to uh, uh, airport hotel, the base fare will be seven hundred naira. 
Okay. If I have a base fare, it's going to stop people that request from the street to, to the second street. Where you can take Okada for 15 hours. I, I, I need to get clarity from I you regarding the strike. Oh, wow. um, has the strike actually begun today? Can you clarify to me that all across yes. Nigeria, you cannot yes. order a it ride on yes, boat or Uber? If I want to be honest with you, it is not correct, but there will be long ETA. There will be no what now? Long ETA. Estimated okay, time, uh, timing, yes. There's going to be, do you know why the, uh, that is going to be? Why okay, let me, let me put it this way. Let me explain why there's going to be long ETA. We have so much drivers that come on board on a daily basis that are not in line with the association or union. Why is this? Most of them do not know. They just come on board, they take a car, and they start work. So until they meet any driver or a particular driver that will tell them, okay, we actually have an online, um, online community where you can engage with leaders, old timers in the job, people, pioneers that are, that has been in the job since 2015, since the time of red card that we've been uh, uh, on this very struggle. So now what, uh, what will happen is at the, at the period they get to meet such a person, they will be introduced to us, they will check their uh, driver's dashboard, their dashboard, then bring them on board. From there on, they would understand. So we still have thousands. This is an industry of over 15,000 drivers okay. in Nigeria. Okay. You're saying so not every, not every community... driver currently is in your association. Yes. And so there still will be drivers working um, even while you, you know, are supposedly on strike. Yes. Those drivers that are working are not, they don't even know about any union or association. They are new. Yeah, but do, do, yes, you, do, you think your, do you think a strike would be you know, enough to send a message to uh, the companies now, Uber or Bolt? Yes, of course. Of course. Already yesterday evening, Bolt had already sent out a message. The message is talking about increase in first, uh, uh, security, uh, and, and several other things. So we knew. They felt it already. They can feel it because already yesterday, uh, over 2005, we're offline. Some people actually started this. The store like me have been offline since on Friday. I've not gone online. So if we're talking about this, yesterday evening, when they knew what, what was going to happen today, they need to entice drivers to come out today. So they sent out a message yesterday talking about increasing fares from 0% um, to 10%. Yes. So that, that, that's going to be... We can tell. That's going to be strenuous for Nigerians. I'm yeah, not sure, I'm sure. You, you, if uh, Nigerians would be happy with, you know, with that. You know, but hopefully there would be... Uh, some compromise somehow, somewhere. We'll get information or better clarity on that. Uh, but yes, quickly talk about security. I thought, I mean, yes. I, about I was going security. to ask you, Balogu. I, I, you know, I have friends who, you know, are in this business. You know, using e-hailing okay. services to survive. So I know that lots of you okay. have concerns concerning welfare and security. I personally know Uber yes. drivers who have been attacked. People who, you know, okay. you have dangerous people enter their rides in the pretext of being a passenger, attack them, you know, some of them end up in the hospital, yes. some of them even die. So is this part of, you yes. know, your agitation for better welfare from, you know, these e yes. companies? Yes. Uh, Mr. Ilari, right? Okay, here is the thing. Over the years, we have had several drivers that has been killed during the course of discharging their duties. We have had one on a code bridge that was about three of them from Eco Bridge around Coastal that were true from the bridge downwards. Meanwhile, they are on a trip where we engage Uber and Boat. No, sorry, Boat. The three of them were actually Boat. Boat never gave a response. Instead, they give us an automated response, as usual on Twitter. When we send them a message, they don't respond. It is the same automated message that they will send to you. No condolence visit was paid to, this, uh, to the families of the victims. No uh, uh, compensation was given to the families of these victims. Even if you are not going to compensate, why don't you just show, just a, a, a show of compassion? Visit their family. Let them know that, okay, yes, we are with you. He's actually working on a platform. You understand? But they don't do these things. They do not. I remember when that, that was true from the bridge in Oshodi, when that construction was still ongoing. They threw him all the way from, but because of the phone, they want to collect his address for the train from the bridge. He was on trip also. I cannot count how many drivers we've had to bear with. Okay. All right. All right, Mr. Balagu. Because of, you know, them discharging their duties. 
So, Mr. Balogu, thank you very much. I think uh, this is yes. this is how far we can we can go with this conversation. And definitely, we would you know aim to bring you back. Let's see how this goes. If you know these e-hailing companies are doing something, you know, to basically increase the fares as you're demanding. Yes, yes. Thank and with this security, we need riders profiling, please. Oh, All right. Every, Thank every, you. Every, every, oh, actually, riders profiling sounds, sounds like a good, good point. Yes, you know, but, uh, thank you very much. Thanks um, again. A lot of people, you know, also need better security. Um, you know, I'm, I'm mostly worried about how um, this would affect Nigerians who use these uh, services. Not everybody wants to get, get on a bus or BRT or motorway. True, true. Um, so it's going to be more... Um, all know, right. Um, financial strain on Nigerians. F fantastic. All right. So all right. earlier today, we put out a poll on Twitter asking Nigerians should the Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Isa Pantami, resign? Was saying that there are clips of him preaching messages that are sympathetic to terrorists. Pantami says he preached those messages when he was a young cleric. And uh, the poll there, you can vote yes, no, undecided. As it stands now, the poll is at 71% of people saying yes, Isa Pantemi should resign. 29% of people say no, and 0% saying they're undecided. So let's know what you think about this. Head on to our Twitter page, at Plus TV Africa. Vote and let your voice be heard. It's uh, The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Thank you very much for being a part of our day today and letting us be a part of yours. I am Annetta Felix. And I am Osao Ogbon. See you tomorrow.